broken. And if you look at broke pictures, what makes these pictures broke is that there's lots of stuff happening all the time. You see big battles with horses, and half the horses in frame, half the horses out of the frame. There are lots of big gestures. It's not a period where, where people sit down and have their portraits painted like this. Huh? There's always a lot of activity in these Baroque paintings. And I think it's the same in Baroque architecture and in Baroque music. Uh, yeah? Yeah. yeah? If I say, for example, if I say a couple of composers' names, let's see if you know them. If I say Vivaldi. Yes. Yeah? You know Vivaldi? Vivaldi was, the, was a typical great Baroque French composer. Uh, and what was really typical about Baroque composers is that mostly they wrote for their own instruments, right? Today we have composers who write for big symphony orchestras, they write for, for clarinets and for violins and for, for all types of things. But very specific to Baroque music is that most often the composers wrote for their own instruments. I will tell you about the violin for the story, okay? Actually, among those instruments which are introduced here, it's the only one which survived through the French Revolution, through the old Revolution. Even the Russian Revolution. And it's, uh, it's very particular. It's a uh, violin that they made in Cremona, in Italy, in, in uh, 1675. This violin was made by Francesco Ruggeri, who was a, is another important Cremonian maker. And maybe we can play just me and Luz and Luca. So you, you, will, you, will take, you will see what it is exactly, the role of the violin in this, we, we will play for you a short piece. By the way, in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the, the role of the lute, which is, the, have you heard about something called basso continuo? Have you heard about this? It's a tactic, it's a tactic. It died with the French Revolution. It died with the French Revolution, exactly. As I received, probably. You're really lucky to have us here today. Yeah? And, and the basso continuo, you know, the part of the violin is a melody, and I have this, you see?
instrument over here. And it was the same thing with this instrument. They came with uh, an instrument which was played with bow, and it probably looked like a, more like a guitar than this instrument does. And then, going into exactly the years that Columbus sailed over here the first time, there was uh, the first Spanish pope. Mm -hmm. 